So at the salon, one of the girls came up to me and asked, you know, hey, my doctor said that I would be a good candidate for an emotional support animal. Can you tell me anything about that? And at first, of course, I was like, oh gosh, here we go with the ESA. And then as the conversation continued, it, like, I figured out that, like, she really would benefit from a psychiatric service dog. So I connected her with, like, various resources and information about how to go about training a service dog, and it was a great conversation. And yes, it's frustrating when a million people come up to you and ask you questions and, you know, you just want to grab that, you know, drug of milk and just leave. But how is that person going to advocate for you in the future if you're having an access issue if they had a bad experience? So I guess this is making me, like, expand into a whole other topic, but it just... I feel like how are we going to stop people from faking their pets as service dogs if they don't have any positive interactions and education with real service dog handlers? Because going back to that girl, I mean, she could very easily have never met me, never asked about service dogs, and then just by the advice of her doctor, gone and gotten a website vest and brought her untrained pet into public, but now she's not going to. So, in the end, even if I'm tired or, I mean, today I was really late to get somewhere, but I felt like that was a really important conversation that I needed to have, and that, you know, the people that are waiting on me, they can just wait a little bit longer so I can educate her and get her on the right track. So, yeah, so to all my fellow service dog handlers, I would just say, take the time to educate people. Don't just scoff and, you know, get irritated because they don't understand the difference between ESAs and service dogs. Educate them. You are the person to educate. So the last point I was going to add was that yes, there are special members of humanity who just do not deserve an answer because they're just so stupid. But you know, I would say the majority, like just take the time to talk to them if you can. And it will just help a lot of people.